In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a, a click event that will track our X and Y coordinates in the canvas in Chart.js. And this skill is very useful because with this, you can start to do a lot of additional functions in Chart.js. So as you can see here, it will trigger the item nicely. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to explore how to get the mouse click coordinates in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do here is to go to chartjs3.com getting started this specific link here which you can find also in the description box once you're on the site scroll down and copy this chunk of code here once you copy this and by the way if you want to understand what this code does make sure you watch this video here that explains it all paste it all in there cut out the title here and then i'll just put that in there save that and refresh so to get the mouse click coordinates, and this is very important to understand, this, this skill is very useful, not, in, not on its own, but once you want to combine multiple things together, this will become very powerful because it will open up a lot of doors for you. So what we're going to do here is that, for example, if you click somewhere, I just want to get the X and Y coordinates specifically of the canvas. So how do we do this? Well, we have to scroll down here all at the bottom. And we have to create here basically a new function. So the first thing what I want to do here is to create a function. And let's say this will be our click handler. So within here, what I will do now is I'll just say here console off. And then in here, I'll say click. So if I save this, refresh and open developer tab and click, nothing happens. Why nothing happens is simply this. We didn't trigger the click because we have the function here. But the trick is not, or the uh, click is not being triggered, or nothing triggers the function to do anything. So that's what we're going to do now. So what we're going to say here is we're going to pinpoint specifically my chart and not even my chart itself, because the my chart, if we just get this here, will draw everything or will take the full command. So what I will do here is to show you exactly what we need. We say here my chart, if I save that, refresh. We get the full object within my chart. But what I want here is to pinpoint the canvas with the canvas ID of my chart. Right now it is in here, but it's not being recognized in chart.js or in the canvas itself. So what we're going to do then is we're going to just pinpoint that specifically by saying dot canvas. Once we did that, we basically pinpointed this item here. And if you hover over it, you can see it will highlight the canvas itself. So if I save this now, a refresh there we are it recognizes now exactly the item that we want so now we have this what i want to do now is basically the following i'm going to say here dot add event listener and what we're really doing here is basically saying i want to put a event tracker on the canvas itself or an event listener something that listens if there would be an event so once it hears the event or uh, or yeah well i guess it, it tracks the event in that case first of all what is the event in this case it will be click comma and then we're going to say this click will be event we will call it the letter e and then what i want to do here is if we click this event which is called letter e should be registered in here so what i'm going to do here is trigger this specific function here and in this function i want two specific commands. First of all, I want to get the my chart, which is basically this object here. And secondly, I want to have the E, which is the click event recorded. So once I did this, what will happen now if I save this and refresh? If I click now, it recognizes the click. So this indicates that now it does understand what it needs to do. Of course, it only understands this basic functionality. So what I want to do now is to get the full information. So we can grab both of these, put them in here, and then we can just grab the E. Basically, we could even skip this one here. This is not really necessary. The E is basically the core uh, item that we need because this measures the click or gives us the click information. So, but in chart.js, yes, we will be using my chart quite commonly, and I just re rename it to chart for now. We won't be using that, so it doesn't matter so much. What I want to do now is just say here, the E again, if I save this and then refresh, if I click here, you can see here what we get is all the information, including the X and Y coordinates, 
and even here what is for us very important is specifically the click uh, was it not even the click the client x and the client y somewhere here that's this one here so how is this really calculated well to understand this you have to look at basically the entire window here we're working right now with the inner window which is this area here excluding this console tab very important because if we want to include this we are basically working with the outer window however that's not the case in here we're working with the inner window but in this inner window we have an issue the canvas here shows this coordinates here so the inner window will show basically this part here so what we need to do now is basically if we click on this item it has the coordinates from left and top on this area here because you can see here the canvas here maybe there's like i guess 20 pixels in in uh, padding and here up we have maybe 200 pixels or 150 pixels of uh, margin so what we need to do is we need to calculate the core difference with that and once we have that we can get here the x and y 0, 0.0 that's basically how it works so that's what we're going to do here so we're going to have this one here and then i realize i said this one is not necessary but i think it can be very useful so uh, we'll just leave that so sorry about that we can just say here the chart which is just the canvas now all i want to do here is a we can do here a constant do here an object destructuring and let's say a chart however now i need to get specifically the canvas as well i guess in here so i'm just going to say here canvas so what that means is i don't have to use my chart dot canvas here but i can use just the canvas command so once I have this, now what I want to do here is I'm going to say here, let, and then we can call this any value. So let's say rectangle, which is basically already inner window, basically. But I cannot use inner window as command because that's that's a term that's already used by JavaScript, so avoid that. So we're going to say a rectangle equals canvas dot, and then we're going to use a command here. It's called get bounding client rectangle. And what this truly does is will calculate basically the difference or basically the full inner window here and what we need to do is then deduct that from the canvas or the other way around the canvas from that to calculate the exact click coordinate so what i'm going to do here now is we're going to say yeah, let's say x for now the constant x equals and then what i'm going to say here the click and i guess this should here this e can be converted into click that would be more easier to understand because the e is basically this here e or event but that is a click event so i just give it the proper name click event so say click client x minus rectangle dot left once you do this we basically calculate the left side here the difference and then as well minus wherever we would click so we'll understand the, the client or specifically the canvas itself minus the left side here and we'll call it the exact coordinate. So what I want to do exactly the same here, but then for the y and the y is what we call the vertical level. So client y and then here rectangle is not left anymore. No, it is top. So if we do this, and let me just show you a few items. Let's show you that what is the rec. So we save that refresh and we do console log if i click now what happens it gives us all the coordinate information here and this is very important and what we eventually can do now is get the exact coordinates because this one here is based on the screen here so what i want to do then is if i just copy this do a console log save that and then if i click here you can see here now we get client left that will be 23 pixels so in, in essence there's a 23 pixels of difference minus this 267 would give us the exact coordinate so this is very nice so once we have this so i can just grab this one here you will see exactly now that they are all connected together i'm going to copy this and say this will be the y and this here will be dot top oh sorry i was saying about uh 
what was it the 23 pixels at the left but of course we're going to measure the y should be this one here up so if i save this now and if i click here no make sure you have this click this it will calculate for us and exactly 67 pixels would be approximately here so we'll, we'll be from this point on from here to up to here but you see the full value here this here is considered about 195 pixels so again if i click something else you can see here and then how can we check if this is all correct what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy well let's put in this here an x in here remove this rectangle top save that refresh and then what i want to do is if you click here in the corner this should be 0, 0.0 and if we click on this corner here this should be the full width you can see here you can see here up in the tooltip the width would be 687 and then the height would be 343 so if i click on here let's go to the console log 343 and then 67 and then if i go here and you will know that it's quite hard to get the exact coordinate sometimes you will just have a negative one or negative there's a tiny difference but overall this is a perfect way to do it if you have a, a one or two pixel negative that doesn't matter too much because it's just a tiny margin of error that is hardly noticeable for the human eye so this is basically how you can do it and if you go up here you should get here the y is number two over the number two yes and then the x is this value here so we can show you just to make sure we can say uh, y, uh, x or equals and then we say here dot should show here nicely or oh, undefined sorry uh, I guess it, uh, this concatenation doesn't work if I do it like this it's probably easier we do here back tick back tick it's for concatenation you can see here x core save refresh so you can see here that's the x coordinate and if i go here up more in the corner up you get here zero and that's basically it and that's for the and this is the y coordinates as well so this is how you can get the uh, x coordinates or the, the x and y coordinates on click so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to know okay what can i do with this well let me show you exactly i'm going to recommend you to explore this specific video here on how to create clickable x scale uh, labels here with links so basically there we track our coordinates where we are clicking on and then we're going to match that with the canvas and then make sure that there's a link on it that will be triggered as well so this is very advanced item and highly recommended if you want to go deeper